Good morning, everyone. Uh, it is, it's Monday, Monday, June 1st. Yes, Monday, and I'm in the office working. Uh, I already know, Carl, if you're watching, that you're gonna make some kind of snide little comment or some little funny text is gonna come in about working on a Monday, but anyway, that's a different issue. Uh, there's a reason why I'm here Monday and why I'm not waiting until Tuesday morning to send you this video. Um, we got some good news late Friday afternoon, but that, that good news has a lot of implications and timing stuff that every, everything's just gotten crazy. So I'm going to explain to you what's happened. I'm going to explain the implications to that and some of the changes that will happen around the church and uh, also then uh, a verse of scripture that's just been on my mind ever since uh, we got the phone call. So Friday afternoon, um, uh, late afternoon, I finished kind of all my work stuff. Uh, Shayla was going for a walk, doing some discipleship with a couple of girls in the church. And uh, and so I drove into Camel real quick to pick up some dog food. And I got a phone call from Shayla. Uh, actually, it was a text message uh, from Shayla stating, June 5th, so next Friday, June 5th, I have surgery. Now, uh, for those of you who don't know, Shayla had surgery booked. Um, I forget the exact date, but right when all the COVID stuff started happening. And, uh, and we were getting nervous. Was she going to have surgery? Was it going to be canceled? And so we kept phoning the hospital and they kept saying, no, it's still on. It's still on. It's still on. Well, the day before her surgery was scheduled, we got, we got told, we got informed that surgeries, all elective surgeries were canceled and she wasn't, uh, wasn't going to have surgery. So we've been waiting for the couple of months here, waiting to see when, when will this happen? And, uh, and we didn't know. And so we, you know, there's only so much you can plan for and prepare for. And so we've been planning and preparing both personally and with the church and everything just the way we have to, realizing that this may throw uh, a wrench in some of the timing stuff, but there's, there was just nothing we could do. So we get this call. So, so Friday, June 5th, Shayla's having surgery, uh, which is great news. It's good news, uh, good news for her, good news for our family. Um, it just means that we have some, uh, changes to make in our in our calendar so so last saturday we had church uh for the first time with a few people live on saturday morning uh recorded it live so that we then put it up sunday morning as per usual uh and there's about eight people or so and what an encouraging time it was it was so so awesome um to have people there however it was it was strange for me because we had planned to do last saturday and this coming Saturday. And so, I'll, of course, with Shayla having surgery this Friday, there's no way that I'll be able to, to preach Saturday morning. Uh, and so I knew that already Saturday as I was preaching, so I was sitting there knowing this is just going to be a once and done. Um, we're not going to be able to do the plan the way that we anticipated. So it's a little bittersweet in that way. Um, but yeah, again, right, the, the decision's kind of taken out of our hands. It's just the way things are. And, and so there will not be live church this Saturday morning. So if you were planning on coming, uh, I apologize. Uh, unfortunately, it's just there's nothing I can do there. And I'm very sorry that we won't be able to have church um, Saturday morning if you were planning to come live. It will still go live Sunday morning. We're going to record everything a little bit earlier this week, so it'll feel a little strange for us in that we'll be recording the sermon and the worship much earlier than normal because presumably Thursday evening we have to be in Calgary. Uh, I got a brother who is uh, away for a number of months here, but he's got a, a basement suite, so I'm going to crash with him. Well, crash at his house, not with him. He won't be there um, so that we can get to the hospital Friday morning so that Shayla can go up for surgery. Um, she's waiting for a phone call this morning to, to determine how long she'll be in and some of the details. So, so we just don't know a lot of stuff right now. Um, but it, my assumption is that late Saturday, maybe Sunday is when we'll be coming home. Um, but again, with COVID and everything, there's just so, so much unknown. So anyway, there will not be a recording this Saturday morning. So if you're planning on coming to that again, I'm sorry, that won't happen. Um, so that means when the board does meet together again to evaluate, we, we only have one Saturday morning to evaluate. So we have to figure out all of those things. Um, now the great news in all of this is, is God knows, God 
none of the surprises God, his timing is perfect. Um, so I was supposed to be at seminary from June 8 to 12, so Monday to Friday. And so I'd asked Jim Houston to preach for us. And, and so he was eagerly kind of getting ready for all of that. Well, well, he ended up on Saturday morning preaching uh, to the camera, getting everything recorded, just so that he had lots of time in case something went wrong. He's never, never done this before. And, but it all went great. And so he sent us everything. And so we actually have the sermon already recorded for the 14th. So that means we're going to record worship again way early. But we're going to have that service ready to go live Sunday morning, 10.30 a.m. on the 14th, as it normally would. Um, but that means that when Shayla's having surgery on Friday, and we get home, let's say, maybe Sunday, when, when we get home, obviously, she's going to be out of commission for a while. Um, I'm going to need to step up and take additional... Uh, life will change, right? So i got to take care of Shayla. Uh, i got to become Smonga's school teacher for the next two weeks. Uh, so we spent last night going over all of that. I'll tell you, those of you parents who are doing the school right now, uh, kudos to you. That's a lot of work. Um, I'm sure I'm going to screw some of that up as I, as I figure it out, but we'll get there. Uh, but anyway, so that then, that week, that first week as Shayla's recovering and I, as I'm learning how to do school and all these things, the service will already be all recorded. I won't have to have a sermon to write that week. And, and so it, it it's just neat to see God kind of unfold and put all these pieces in place. Um, and so I'm grateful for that. Uh, so some of the implications that we don't know about are, um, we're not sure if we have to be in quarantine after the surgery for a while because Shayla's immune system will be compromised having just had surgery. Um, so I'm not sure uh, what I will and won't be able to do. So here's a couple examples. Um, because we have communion coming this Sunday and we always do communion together, we'll still do that. Don't worry, that still will happen. But if you would like a communion pack delivered to you, you need to contact Olivia because Saturday morning she'll be the one delivering all that while I'm in Calgary. So if you don't have her contact info, get a hold of me and I'll pass that on. Uh, I'll pass Olivia's contact on to you so that you can have that done. So that's one little thing that, uh, that will be done um, by her and I'm grateful for that. Um, and then actually have someone else who's going to help teach with the young adults group. Um, and then uh, another, this is, this is a small thing, but I mean, all these things are big for me right now, is we missed last Thursday's men's group. Uh, I had forgotten about it, lost track of the days, everything, and, and lots of other guys did too. And so we're actually going to meet this Thursday morning, which is perfect. Because then the 11th, which is that first week while we'll be recovering, I don't have to worry about that because we're going to go on the 18th. So our schedule got changed and, and it changed again in a, in a positive way for us. And so there's just some real encouraging things that have happened there. But if you have any questions, uh, if you'd like to help, uh, a few of you have asked about maybe making some meals and how to do that safely and drop that off for us, just contact me and, and we'll sort all that stuff out. Um, yeah, uh, things might be a little hectic. Uh, you, you might not notice uh, because the two next two Sundays are going to be recorded and up uh, as per usual. Uh, but just know we're working on figuring all these details out and what the implications are. Uh, and, and yeah, it's all good news. It's just, it's just uh, things haven't worked the way that I expected. So this is the verse that's been on my mind ever since I heard this. In Proverbs 16, uh, it says this, 16 verse 9, the heart of man plans his ways, but the Lord establishes his steps. You know, we've had all these things planned, and, and we've been praying and asking that God would lead and direct and guide us, and, and I just feel like God's just been kind of like, don't worry, I got this. Don't worry, I'll take care of some of these details. You don't, you won't understand why right now, but we'll make it all work. And, and so, you know, I've been planning and preparing, and, and God all of a sudden goes, don't worry, I got this. I'm doing things you don't even know about yet. So that's where we find ourselves. So, uh, yeah, please be in prayer for Shayla for the surgery on Friday and for the recovery uh, time period. Again, there's there's some unknowns uh, as to the surgery right now, and so how long of a recovery, we're not sure. We're guessing a month, but it uh, could be longer. So just be in prayer for her as she recovers. Thank you uh, for for your understanding and your patience during this time. Uh, and, and you can, by all means, get a hold of me uh, through email or text or phone call. Uh, I may or may not be able to answer right in those moments, but I will do my best to get back to you. 
Thank you uh, for listening, and uh, yeah, thank you for your upcoming prayers. Appreciate it very much. We'll talk to you again. Bye-bye.